So this is a certified classic. You may or may not have seen it before, but... Back with another realistic day in the life at Google Seattle. Get to the office at around 6 a.m. This is the same office I was in, by the way. Beat the traffic and just get a nice workout in. At around 7 a.m., I'm getting ready at the locker room. We're getting breakfast at this really cute cafe at 8 a.m. Got some crepes, iced Americano, which is so good. And at around 8.20, I got to work. I usually get a snack at around 10 a.m. And today, I forgot a charging cable, so I went to the vending machine to get Today, I forgot a I worked on this floor. I don't think I ever saw this girl, though. Maybe she never came into the office other than to record this video. That's my theory. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm not trying to hate on people. Charging cable, so I went to the not vending machine to, to get one. And 11.30 is usually when I eat lunch. I got a whole hodgepodge of things, including pizza, and this is the view that I like to eat with. And at 12 o'clock, I get some more caffeine and just spend the afternoon doing some more work. I like to de-stress at the end of the day, and today I booked a massage appointment, so I have that for an hour and then go home at 5.30. Big life update. I got laid off yesterday. <laughs> The funny thing is, I don't think these were a part of the same video. I think somebody stitched these together because this is a Reddit post. I'm pretty sure her role was recruiter. Okay, it looks like, yeah, that's confirmed. I don't want to like be too much of an asshole though because it feels bad when you're like punching down and somebody loses their job and you're gonna like it's been over a year the irony is that you didn't really do a lot of work and you can't really be too surprised when you lose your job in that case with those day in the life videos some of them are not accurate at all people will just show you like the good stuff i have a nice view i had a massage i did this and that there's no way they're doing all that every day when i wasn't working i would literally just be walking around the office because i was procrastinating and i didn't feel like working i actually think i saw primogen reacting to this one I actually like this one. Honestly, this is why I think TikTok might be better than YouTube Shorts. I never see stuff like this in YouTube Shorts. This was a good one. When you start out programming, you're just doing like basic stuff. And then when you get a job, you're doing stuff that isn't basic and it's just kind of boring. What else do we got here? This girl is living in 302. Someone was just watching my videos too much. He's using his phone to code on his laptop. I don't really understand this one because they say this girl is living in like thousand years from now, but it's a guy. That's one. Two, you have a fucking keyboard right there and you're using your phone. God, no. Yeah, this is, yeah, I'm gonna have to give it a that. I thought I was gonna watch more of these, but after that one, I don't know. I will study coding and become a software engineer by the end of the year. Everyone laughed except the engineer. Okay. It just seems like TikTok is so random and that like the most random things become popular. Learn C++ in 50 days. No. It takes you until day 21 to learn about functions and header files and only five days for object-oriented programming? More on class? What does that even mean? <laughs> I'm not going to do TikTok if I have to do this. Coders.learning? Oh, I, I feel like the longer we look at that one, the more brain cells we're going to lose. This one might just be Mimi. This one has some potential. Do you think it's gonna be good or not? Let's find out. When you're a programmer. Sorry, babe, say it a hundred times. Very funny. So this is more of a, I just learned how to program and I'm gonna make a programming joke on TikTok type of video. It's probably just a bunch of like CS students reacting to this one. We closed it, but I think that's good. Okay. Okay, I probably shouldn't have finished it, to be honest. When you see the other developers, what? <laughs> I actually like this one. 
That's the best one today. They could have used better programmers though. I just like any memes that follow this template. This is my favorite template. This one's cool actually. I imagine these two are gonna stay at the top for most of this to be honest. Ooh, PHP. Wow, did it actually pass JavaScript? I guess people weren't really doing that much interactivity back then in the early 2000s. Python, our boy. Really? Python? I don't know, this might be fake news. I guess Python does have a lot of applications. I don't know, I mean, literally everything on the web is JavaScript. How could it possibly be that Python has more? Okay, that might be enough 